Hi, this is Gary Kozak with GK Consulting. I've been asked to share with you my method for using SonarWiz as a real-time acquisition and control system with either an EdgeTech 4125 or 4200 side scan sonar system. Uh, first, one uh, caution is that the computer that you are using to run the sonar, it is recommended that you have all firewalls turned off and that you have no virus software running on the computer. So let's start with my method for connection and operation. The first thing you'll need to do is to launch Discover Software and to turn on the EdgeTech SciScan sonar system and to watch in the lower right-hand corner for a net on connection. While you're waiting for that connection to be made, which can take from one to two minutes, go up to the control tab in the upper left-hand corner of the Discover software and in the drop-down menu, connect on the connection information. And when that information window opens, take a note mentally of what the sonar control port number is. And in this case, it is 1900. And on edge tech systems, this is the usual default port setting for the edge tech sonars. We just want to be able to compare in the sonar whiz server that the port setting is the same as what we see in the edge tech discover software we're going to leave discover software open and in the background we need to do that for the um, interfacing between chesapeake and the edge tech system at this point you can launch sonar whiz and do your standard setup and configuration and when you're ready to connect to the edge tech side scan sonar go to the data acquisition tab go to the sonar configure it will open up the sonar interface window select the 41 4125 4200 server and start and configure you will now have the EdgeTech server window open and there are several settings that we want to confirm in this window. The first is is that the Discover IP address is set to 127.0.0.1. Next we want to confirm that the IP port has the correct port number that we observed in the Discover software which was 1900. At this point you will want to check on the low frequency and high frequency and when you run these two different frequencies, be sure that they are set on the same range scale. If you try to set different range scales, you may have some triggering and um, artifact pr problems in the waterfall displays. So run them at the same range scale. You can now connect. And once you connect, you should see in the waterfall viewer data scrolling and in the lower part of the server window you should see information changing and updating in the ping channel info area at this point you may want to go on and check on the time variable gain for low frequency and high frequency and here it's sort of an experimental setting to see which ones give the best visual representation in the waterfall and I typically start around 20 dB on both and then adjust them up or down accordingly viewing the waterfall to get the best representation of what I feel the data should look like. Once you have this all set up do not close the server minimize it and you can now X out of the initial sonar interface selection window. So at this point you should be operational. The waterfall should be scrolling. You can again go into the server which is minimized at the bottom. You can reopen it if you elect to change range scales up or down and again minimize not X out as you are running. 
And from there, you should be good to go with your standard uh, things that you need to set up in SonarWiz. Everything from setting up the GPS port so you have proper GPS data coming in, setting up your laybacks to account for offsets with the towfish behind on a tow cable, and proceed with setting up your survey lines, etc. That will not be covered. I'm just focusing on the uh, setup of the server and getting this operational. So you should be ready to go. Happy surveying.